Good afternoon and good evening to you all. Um, but also maybe if there are others that are joining us from elsewhere, good morning. Um, a pleasure for me to join you this um, afternoon or evening our time. Um, um, and especially when you come in contact with uh, the youth, uh, there's a lot of energy that we draw from. So really a pleasure for uh, me to come um, and welcome you all for this collaborative effort. Uh, before um, I can share a few words, let me recognize the Under Secretary General and Executive Secretary of the Economic Commission for Africa, my boss, Dr. Vera Songwe. Um, also recognizing the Vice Chancellor of the University, Professor Ani Sikwebele. Uh, the Dean, School of Humanities and Social Sciences, Professor Jacob Malunga, uh, representatives of the Academia and Young Economists Network uh, from UNSA and the University of Lusaka, colleagues of the United Nations Systems, uh, the media, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa, Southern African Office, which um, in case you didn't know, it's actually based here in Lusaka, and of course, on my own behalf, um, it is with great pleasure and honor that I welcome you to the public lecture on national debt and debt financing in Zambia and the region, uh, which has been organized in collaboration with the University of Zambia's School of Humanities and Social Sciences. Allow me, colleagues, also to thank the leadership of the university for the warm welcome. Um, and we, before we came here, actually I did have um, a brief chat with the Vice Chancellor and we we're talking about how we can um, enhance and actually have stronger collaboration and therefore would like to join a lot of the other existing efforts that you have in terms of the public uh, lectures that you may have or other debates that we may also do jointly. So really, as an office, I think this is something that we'd like to pursue and continue to engage in. Uh, so really, I mean, uh, uh, in terms of the leadership uh, from the Vice Chancellor, but also from uh, uh, Professor uh, Dr. Mudenda and others that have uh, held our hand to make this happen, uh, really to thank you uh, so much uh, for that. As ECA, we revere partnerships uh, uh, with the academia institutions as such collaboration allows the Commission to deepen its think tanking Function, which is one of our three functions, uh, but uh, uh, at, the, at the heart of what we do is actually producing knowledge uh, that would see transformation happening in countries. So really, I mean, the partnership with academia uh, uh, helps us to achieve that major objective and also contributes to the nurturing of new ideas uh, to address our development challenges, which are huge uh, for Africa as a whole. The lecture is an opportunity for us to reflect on the implications of national debt and its financing as we endeavor to build the Zambian economy which is resilient uh, to external and internal shocks and explore debt management uh, strategies that allow the country to prudently pursue socioeconomic development uh, without worsening the debt burden, especially in light of the pressing needs to achieve the SDGs, reduce poverty and inequality, and finance other national development aspirations. I think the, the Vice Chancellor has also spoken to a lot of the issues that come with debt. Debt itself is not bad, uh, but then it does have other consequences and the debt overhang that she spoke to, I think uh, are some of those issues uh, that we should be paying particular attention to. Uh, therefore, this lecture would be very critical to try and pack uh, some uh, of those issues. Uh, this lecture comes at a critical jun juncture again as Zambia, the many developing nations in making strides towards resuscitating the economy amid global shocks and challenges, including those that have been caused by COVID-19 pandemic, but also more recently with the Russia-Ukraine crisis, which greatly has disrupted supply chains, constrained the fiscal space amid worsening debt burden. How is this topic, uh, therefore, we might ask, relevant to you or even the country? And I think, again, that's why we are here today. 
The choice of discussions on debt for our first interaction with the University of Zambia is pertinent. As you may be aware, in 2020, Zambia suffered the first pandemic, pandemic era sovereign default by the end of 2021. It had an external debt of 17.27 billion, making finances, and this is in US dollars, making financing SDGs and other national development an even tall order. And sustainable debt means, among others, low foreign direct investment and stagnated economic growth. And these are the debt overhang that, again, uh, that we were talking about uh, here. Um, the mounting debt levels compelled uh, meant that mobilization of further dom domestic and international public and private sector resources uh, became the only route to deliver on national development aspirations. Consequently, in December 2021, the country acceded to a 1.2 billion US dollar financing deal with the IMF as one of its debt service sustainability initiatives. Addressing such high levels of indebtedness, indebtedness is inevitable if the country is to launch on a system, sustainable path of development. Uh, also to achieve economic reforms and debt forgiveness negotiations become, becomes imperative. Um, I was in uh, the parliament when the last year's uh, budget statement was read, quite ambitious, but at the same time you would all agree that without the resources required to deliver on that would be you know, but very challenging for the government. And therefore issues of how financing comes in, including uh, debt, of course, uh, is critical, but at the same time, noting the high levels of debt, uh, critically important to see how to manage all of that. Allow me to recognize the Zambian Economic Society present here today, and given your ex extensive experience and expertise in issues of debt and its management, I have no doubt that you will provide for rich discussions and interactions uh, on this topic, as I express my gratitude and delight to the collaboration with the university, allow me to also thank Dr. Dale Mudenda and his team uh, for helping us put this together. We look forward, certainly, for further co collaboration uh, of, of this kind. As I conclude, uh, ladies and gentlemen, allow me uh, to introduce our speaker today. Uh, it is my singular honor and privilege to introduce and welcome today's lecturer, the UN uh, Under Secretary General and Executive Secretary of the ECA, Dr. Vera Songwe, who should have been here physically with us today, uh, but like mentioned before, due to other unforeseen circumstances, her plane couldn't take off um, yesterday. Uh, so uh, completely beyond uh, her control, but she would have loved to be here. She actually does love everywhere she goes to engage uh, with the universities, with students, uh, and a lot of the work that we're doing um, as ECA. She will be arriving tomorrow, however, um, and uh, instead though, but she wouldn't have missed uh, this opportunity uh, to engage with you. So virtually, I think, COVID has uh, uh, at the same time brought challenges, but I think it's also brought an opportunity that you're able to do that. So that's why she's joining us uh, virtually uh, for this session. She, um, Dr. Songwe, uh, again, today's lecture draws on Dr. Songwe's vast international experience and expertise in monetary policy, debt, and fiscal sustainability as the Af on the African continent, but also uh, having worked extensively and closely with the World Bank, both the World Bank and the IMF, uh, 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 Dr. Songwe therefore uh, is actually the right person to address this uh, issue with us uh, today. Dr. Songwe holds a PhD in Mathematical Economics from the Center of Operations, Research and Econometrics, a Master of Arts in Law and Economics, uh, a diploma in economic science and politics, uh, but also holds a BA, a Bachelor of Arts degree in economics and political science from the University of Michigan, uh, and was also a student uh, further uh, before all of this 
uh, of Our Lady of Lourdes College in Cameroon. Executive Secretary, I cannot see you yet, but we appreciate your taking the time to deliver this lecture amidst your busy schedule, uh, as all of us, I'm sure myself and colleagues from the office know, uh, in terms of your agenda. Uh, but we very much look forward to learning from your expertise and in-depth knowledge on this topic. Dr. Vera Songwe, you have the floor. <laughs> 